My name is Sakina Orangi. I'm working as simulation solution engineer in Solid Experts. In this presentation, we're going to explain a little bit about Simulia Works on the platform of 3D experience. Uh, there are uh, several types of uh, simulation products in SolidWorks and SimuliaWorks. What are the differences between these two uh, products? We can do finite element analysis or computational fluid dynamics in SolidWorks and SimuliaWorks. For structural analysis, in SolidWorks we have four types of licenses. SolidWorks Premium, Simulation Standard, Simulation Professional, and Simulation Premium. In SolidWorks Premium, we have access just to two types of analysis, static analysis and motion analysis. But in Simulation Standard, we have uh, static, motion, fatigue, uh, train tracker, and some other features included in this license. In license of simulation professional, we have access to all those types of analysis included in simulation standard, as well as we have access to a topology optimization, thermal analysis, drop tests, and many other analysis in simulation professional. When we have license of simulation premium, it is possible to do nonlinear analysis, dynamic linear analysis, and nonlinear dynamic analysis, as well as composites. Similar to the uh, simulation products for structural analysis, we have uh, some roles on SimuliaWorks in a platform of 3D experience. We have role of structural designer, structural engineer, structural performance engineer, and structural mechanics engineer. I'm going to show uh, those roles on the platform in a few minutes. Uh, for CFD tools in SolidWorks, we have SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation. There are three types of products in SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation for CFT, CFT analysis. In flow Simulation, Electronic Cooling, which is integrated with SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation, and HVAC. Uh, in order to have these two modules functional, um, we must have access to SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation. Similar role to uh, SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation in SimuliaWorks is Fluid Dynamics Engineer role. Another product of simulation in SOLIDWORKS is Plastic Injection. We have three types of uh, licenses for plastic uh, injection. Uh, in order to simulate injection process of plastics uh, in SOLIDWORKS, we can have access to Plastic Standard, Plastic Professional, or Plastics Premium. Based on uh, these uh, types of uh, products, we have a role in uh, Simulia Works, which is uh, called Plastic Injection Engineer. If we go to platform and look at the structural analysis roles. On the platform, we have a structural designer. I have access to a structural engineer role, a structural performance engineer, a structural mechanics engineer. But how about analysis included in those roles in SimuliaWorks? We see that each role lets us do some analysis. For example, in the role of a structural designer, I have access to linear static analysis, frequency, thermal, and buckling. Uh, using the SimuliaWorks on the platform of 3D experience, we can benefit uh, cloud computing that lets us exponentially decrease time of calculations. For example, if I have 30 minutes run uh, locally in SOLIDWORKS, I can decrease it to 3 minutes on the cloud. Uh, what is a linear static analysis? For those problems that we want to do elastic analysis in the elastic region of behavior of materials, we can use linear elastic analysis. It means we don't exceed yield point of material. Uh, we have a relation of stress and strain linear. If we have vibration in our projects and it's necessary to calculate natural frequencies, uh, we can use frequency analysis. Thermal analysis is used for uh, calculation of temperature distribution, temperature gradient, and heat flux in solids. Uh, when we have projects or structures under compression load, uh, we can calculate buckling factor of safety in our structure using buckling analysis. 
The second rule that we have access uh, on Simulia works on the platform of 3D experience is a structural engineer role. In this role, we have access to all those analysis in a structural designer role, plus we have access to harmonic response, model dynamic analysis, and advanced meshing techniques and advanced elements like uh, hexahedral elements or quad elements for shell bodies. The other module included in this role is multi-step. Third role that we have access uh, on in Simulia works is a structural performance engineer. In this role, we have access on to all of these uh, analysis in uh, structural designer and structural engineer. Uh, in addition, we have access to nonlinear static analysis. Uh, what does it mean nonlinear word uh, term here? Uh, it means for nonlinear materials like rubber and foam. If I want to calculate the plastic strain in my project, uh, I enter in the plastic region or nonlinear region of material, uh, I need to do nonlinear analysis. We have three types of nonlinearities in finite element analysis. It can be nonlinear material, nonlinear contact, nonlinear geometry, or uh, there is another term, nonlinear uh, strain or large strain formulation. If I have uh, some of those nonlinearities in my project, I would need to do uh, nonlinear static analysis. The other module included in this role is thermal structural. We can do nonlinear dynamic analysis in a performance engineer role. Uh, we have two types of um, numerical solver, uh, which is it can be implicit or it can be explicit. Implicit dynamic analysis uh, is included in the role of a structural performance engineer, but for explicit nonlinear dynamic, we need to have access to the role of a structural mechanics engineer. We have material failure, uh, advanced connectors, advanced contacts, and general contact, advanced materials, and assembly design in our role for a structural performance engineer. The most complete role for structural analysis on the platform of Simulia Works uh, in 3D experience is a structural mechanics engineer. With this role, we have access to all analysis, uh, all, all modules in a structural performance engineer role. Uh, in addition, we have access to nonlinear dynamic explicit analysis. Mostly, we use this type of analysis for metal forming process, uh, as an example, extrusion, forging, or, for example, um, bending process. The other analysis is quasi-static explicit, uh, complex frequency, random vibration, geometry preparation, material calibration, restart, and submodeling. I'm going to explain a little bit about some uh, features which are included in Simulia works, but we don't have access to them in SolidWorks in a few minutes. Uh, this is a static analysis, quasi-static, implicit dynamic, explicit dynamic, a static perturbation step, a buckling, frequency, harmonic response, random vibration, modal dynamic, and complex frequency analysis. So these are our role, uh, analysis, which is which all of them are included with uh, the role of a structural mechanics engineer. If uh, we want to compare Simulia works with SolidWorks, what are benefits of Simulia works? Or what is the difference between Simulia works and SolidWorks? Why should I use Simulia works for my projects or my problems? Here we see in the image that after four hours, nonlinear simulation, static analysis, it progressed up to 76%. And if we continue this uh, analysis or uh, do settings, this is really time consuming and we are not sure that if we are able to complete 100% this analysis in SOLIDWORKS simulation with the license of simulation premium or not. So I want to show all our settings in SOLIDWORKS. Type of analysis that 
we have in SOLIDWORKS is nonlinear static. We have three parts, top plate and base plate. If I'm going to, these two plates are from steel AISI 1020 and bumper is from rubber. Rubber is highly nonlinear material. We cannot do this type of analysis in linear static analysis and we need to have nonlinear static analysis. The contacts already defined in our projects. We have seven contacts defined. A starting version of SOLIDWORKS 2021, the terms of contacts, the type of contact have been changed. If we go to local interaction, already in previous versions, the type of uh, terms for local interactions, it was local contact set. But starting 2021, they changed the terms. For local contact set in nonlinear analysis, we have contact, bonded, free, shrink fit. Bonded and shrink fit are the same term already used in uh, previous versions of SOLIDWORKS, but contact means no penetration in previous versions and free, low penetration in other versions, older versions. So uh, all those contacts defined for our project, uh, the fixture for base plate is fixed geometry means we blocked all translations and rotations of this face. Our loading in this project is 55 millimeters moving of top plate in direction Y negative. The top plate must be fixed in other directions for this reason. In direction uh, X and Z, we block the translations of top plate. What is the material of bumper? The material of bumper uh, is a customized material and the model top that selected here is hyperelastic Munirivli model with two numbers of uh, constant. Maybe you know that there are three types of model for Munirivli, two constant, six, uh, five constants and six constants for materials. If we run this simulation, as I showed you in the image, after four hours, this simulation just progressed 75% uh, in the version of 2020. So, in order to do this type of simulations easily, uh, we can transfer simulations with high nonlinearities like nonlinear material a large displacement and large strain to Simulia works. For this reason, we transferred all our, our data in Simulia works here. If we look at our scenario for restraints, the base plate fixed. Interactions. Uh, look to the definition of contacts. In SOLIDWORKS, we had seven contacts, but here in SimuliaWorks, one of the benefits that we can use SimuliaWorks for our problems is definition of contacts. We have advanced algorithms for definition of contacts, and we can save our time for definition of uh, our contacts in the problem. So we just have a contact property defining our uh, project with the uh, uh, friction type of column and uh, penalty enforcement friction coefficient applied uh, 0 0.1 so it's very easy to define our contacts in simulia works if we look at to uh, all those uh, setup or Initial conditions or interactions it means contacts and restraints means fixtures in solid works in Simulia works. Initial condition. We can define uh, initial condition as initial temperature, initial stress, initial velocity, initial degrees of freedom, rotational velocity, void ratio. 
We never have this option in SOLIDWORKS. It means we can use SimuliaWorks for porous material also. Interactions, uh, they are similar to contacts. We can have uh, contact detection or surface-based contacts. Uh, we can use, we can define the uh, tangential behavior contacts uh, by applying the friction. Mm, how about restraints or fixtures? We have clamp fixture, uh, fixed displacement, planar symmetry fixture, uh, bolt restraint, uh, ball joint, uh, slider, hinge, and fixed connector displacement. If we go to load, what type of loads we can apply in SimuliaWorks to our projects? It's pressure, force, gravity, inertial relief, bolt force, applied translation, applied translational velocity, and depending on our analysis, if it is static or dynamic, we can define our loadings and apply transla uh, translational acceleration, uh, connector force, connector translation, connector translational velocity, and centrifugal force, and many others as prescribed temperature, uh, field evolution, etc. Our load transferred is exactly 55 millimeters from SOLIDWORKS simulation, transferred here in SimuliaWorks. And if we look at to the step, defined for our project, maximum number of in increments are 1000. The time incrementation selection we have automatic. We may know that there are two types of incrementation techniques in uh, our static analysis in SOLIDWORKS or in SimuliaWorks. It can be automatic selection or fixed. When we say it's fixed, we will give a fixed value of uh, time step for our calculation. But when we have automatic, it can be variable. Initial time, time increment 0 0.05 seconds and minimum time increment is mm, 1e e, um, or we can say 10 microseconds and uh, maximum time increment is 0 0.05 seconds. Suppose that me I'm decreasing this value to uh, 0 .0 0 0.01 second we want to run the simulation and I want to show that how long does it take in SimuliaWorks to run this simulation successfully and easily. Uh, how about material? What type of materials do we have in a SolidWorks simulation? If we go to, I want to cancel our simulation in SolidWorks simulation. and go to material property. In library of SOLIDWORKS simulation for nonlinear static analysis, there are different types of behaviors. Uh, linear elastic, uh, isotropic and orthotropic. If we want to do linear uh, elastic structural analysis, we can use one of those uh, properties depending on the uh, material that we have in the project. Uh, if it is uh, isotropic or orthotropic, we can use uh, one of them. And nonlinear elastic for materials like rubber or, for example, foam. For simulating the plastic behavior of materials like metals, when we uh, exceed yield point and we enter in the plastic region, uh, plastic region of material, there are just three plastic models: Von Mises, Triska, Drucker, Prager. For small or large strains, we can use plasticity Von Mises, but for small strain problems, we can use uh, Triska or Drucker, Prager. Uh, the other material behaviors are here in the library. Uh, 
uh, is hyperelastic blast cohomerivlin and ugden depending on uh, our data available for the project we can use one of those models for hyperelastic behavior of materials for example for elastomers uh, we use munirivlin model in the structures that they are under high temperatures such as 200 to 1000 degrees celsius we have a phenomena or a behavior that it's called creep behavior we usually have three types of creep primary secondary and tertiary creep in this tertiary creep step we experience structure of our structure tertiary creep step uh, is very dangerous for our structures the Material model available in solid work simulation with nonlinear static analysis is viscoelastic. That means we can just um, simulate the viscoelastic behavior of materials, not viscoplastic, not, uh, for example, swelling or other types of behaviors. But I'm going to show in Simulia works that we have different types of material models for viscoelastic behavior. In solid work simulation, we have just one. The Nittinal is another model that we can use in nonlinear static analysis for simulating uh, nonlinear material behavior of uh, nickel, titanium, uh, or other alloys that they have combination of uh, metals like ni nickel and titanium. And they have the experience high rate of uh, strain in uh, the material. How about Simulia works and material models in Simulia works? If I go to material, and I'm opening the material of simulations, for elasticity we have elastic hyperelastic, hyperform, low density foam. We didn't have these models, hyperform or uh, low density foam or porous elasticity in solid work simulation. We have hypoelastic here. Uh, in plasticity, we have metal plasticity, rock and soil plasticity, concrete. And one of the advantage of Simulia works is that we can use Simulia works for simulating concrete materials behavior. But in solid work simulation, we cannot do uh, any analysis for concrete materials. We cannot use solid work simulation for rock and soil plasticity. But it is possible uh, to use Simulia works for those materials. This is these are two advantages of uh, library of material of solid Simulia works. Uh, we have deformation plasticity, Nitinol was in solid work simulation. And how about viscoelastic behavior? In viscoelastic behavior of materials, we have viscoelastic, which we had this one in solid works, but nonlinear viscoelastic. It's very interesting. Creep, a volumetric creep, swelling, and many other uh, models like for damage, ductile damage, or for example, for fiber reinforced composites uh, or hydrodynamic and etc. Though those are those materials that we can find in the material definition for simulation domain in Simulia works. Our analysis is not running completely in SolidWorks simulation as we show here. After four hours, we still have problems. But we want to see how about Simulia works. I'm going to tap off simulate and we want to run our simulation. I run this simulation locally. We look at two iterations, how it progresses, based on time step it's, it's using for the solving our problem. It will show us the progress of iterations. 
and this is the uh, total time versus increment time that we had given one second for our analysis here in this tab we can see the licensing message it says a uh, token consumed is one token uh, at uh, right now I'm running the simulation it is uh, 1129 these are this is the type of messages if there is any error in simulation it will show here around 0.62 seconds of our simulation was completed and uh, we are waiting for 100% If we look at to the time of calculation in Simulia works for this nonlinear problem that we have three types of nonlinearities nonlinear material which is rubber, nonlinear strain, and nonlinear contact. It just takes around three minutes to complete this simulation in Simulia works. We can stop our simulation at any point that we want, but we want to complete it because we want to show that it's possible to complete 100% our simulation in just about 3-4 seconds in Simulia works. Ninety percent finished. Ninety eight percent. Hundred percent completed. So it is extracting the results now. Finished. We did our simulation in just four minutes in Simulia works, which the same simulation didn't uh, finish after around four hours in SolidWorks simulation premium. So how about results? This is the displacement distribution in our problem. If you want to look at to animation of our simulation for displacement, I want to accelerate animation a little bit. So after 55 millimeters, this is exactly what do we observe in our assembly. How about other results like one misses stress or contact pressure? 
One of the interesting points in our results that it's very user friendly in Simulia works. When we keep a mouse cursor on any point in our results, it probes and it shows us the results related to that point. For example, here in this point, the one measure stress is 5.18 uh, pass uh, or E5 Pascal, or we can say 0.5 megapascal or on this plate is zero. For displacement, similar. If we just keep cursor on any point, it will show us the displacement related to that specific point. The other module that is included in the license of structural mechanics engineer is material calibration. Before going to show the material calibration module, I want to explain a little bit about the type of meshing in SimuliaWorks. If we go to tab of mesh in SimuliaWorks, uh, in SolidWorks simulation, we have just tetrahedral element for uh, solid bodies, triangular element for shells, and beams for beam elements. But in SimuliaWorks, we have uh, several advanced, techni uh, advanced techniques for meshing. Uh, we have exactly the same type of elements in SolidWorks simulation, but we have access to, for example, um, surface quad mesh, which we don't have access in SolidWorks simulation. Uh, we have hexahedral mesh, sweep 3D mesh, or hybrid meshing, or these elements or these icons that we see here, all those features are an advanced techniques that we can use for our meshing. Suppose that we have a complex geometry. If I am able to uh, simulate uh, my uh, simulation with high precision, the core of my simulation is meshing. If I'm able to uh, simulate, if I'm able to mesh my assembly or my geometry correctly and I don't have any error in meshing, uh, this will uh, help me to get uh, precise results in simulations. So. Uh, the advanced techniques in SimuliaWorks lets us to mesh our geometry, capture all cur curves, curvatures, and also complex regions of our geometry easily using all those te these techniques uh, to do our simulation um, with more uh, higher precisions. Uh, how about Material calibration. If I go to a structural mechanics engineer role, I have module of material calibration. Uh, this module lets us to calibrate to uh, fit the best material model for our experimental data. Suppose that we are doing some measurements at laboratory, we are measuring the stress strain behavior of an, a specific material, but we don't know what is the mathematical model best fit for the, those data. How we can find the mathematical model for our data using the material calibration and the license of or role of a structural mechanics engineer. In this uh, module, uh, we have access to uh, all those types of tests, whether I've done unaxial tests, biaxial tests, planar tests, simple shear tests, or triaxial tests, volumetric tests. Uh, how we can import uh, the task test data? We can import our test data in material cal calibration module by uh, using Excel files or text files or any other type of file that we have access. And then uh, we can fit 
our uh, mathematical model exactly that we have how uh, we can run our optimization and we, we can also control our optimization based on material models that we've selected at the end uh, it's possible to look at to our results and we can say for example uh, what is the, the comparison between the experimental data and the model that we found in the simulioverics for fitting our experimental data So in optimization control settings, uh, we have different types of uh, optimization algorithm. This is very interesting that we have uh, a huge uh, library for optimization of uh, our model. It's very interesting and rich library for material calibration. What we've explained here about simulioverics. It is possible to run all simulations that are not possible with the license of SOLIDWORKS Simulation Premium. We can complete those simulations. We saw uh, one analysis. Uh, we ran it in less than four minutes, but in SOLIDWORKS Simulation, after four hours, I wasn't able to complete. Running this simulation on the cloud will exponentially reduce the solve time. Meanwhile, we have free our local machine. The other benefit is we can transfer all the modification done in SOLIDWORKS easily to SimuliaWorks and we can validate our design without any redundant steps. Um, we can use SimuliaWorks for small problems and we can run our simulations locally. If we had uh, complex problems with high nonlinearities, uh, we can use the advantage of uh, cloud computing and we can decrease time of calculations exponentially. Uh, there are several types of elements available in SimuliaWorks and advanced meshing techniques, which lets us uh, save our time of meshing and calculations. Uh, there is module of material cal calibration in SimuliaWorks, and uh, we have advanced connectors and contacts in SimuliaWorks. As I showed in SolidWorks, we had seven types of contacts defined, but in uh, SimuliaWorks, we just defined one contact. A variety of material models. Uh, we can use SimuliaWorks for simulating materials like concrete, soil, but it is not possible in SolidWorks simulation. We have different types of material models for elastic plastic damage, uh, creep, relaxation, soiling of materials, but we don't have all of them in SolidWorks simulation. We have just um, viscoelastic for creep behaviors. And finally, SimuliaWorks on the platform of 3D Experience use the majority of capabilities of Abacus Solver to uh, do our simulations uh, with high nonlinearities and to do uh, highly nonlinear problems when we have nonlinear contacts, nonlinear materials, uh, large strain and large displacement. Meanwhile, we save our time of calculations. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions or any comments, uh, please write me at s at saldexpress.com.